Since the original Styrene Aurora kit from 1966, there have been countless renditions of the Creature from the Black Lagoon in scale model form. Plastic, vinyl, resin, from micro scale to life size, some kits faithfully recreate the Gill Man as he looks in the movies, while others are more stylized. Some sculptors give it their own take entirely, and some kits are just out there. So there are a lot of model kits of this classic universal monster to choose from. And, for obvious reasons, it kicks ass. The creature's design is one of the best ever, and I feel it still holds up today, in both style and execution. It's perfect. Many kits have the creature standing, walking, or swimming. Sometimes he's holding Julie, and other kits have him fighting another beast or even another popular film monster. That leads me to my first kit for this new segment I'm trying out here, and that is Creature vs. Croc. Or should I say, Creature Croc. I always thought of it as the former, but um, looking at the box, it does clearly say Creature Croc. Wonderfest 98 edition. And this kit represents what I had in mind when I, I started thinking about these videos. And that is a kit I didn't think I had anymore, and I swore I had sold it years ago for some reason. Um, needed money, I suppose. But I was so happy when I found it in with my other kits when looking for something else. And uh, also this kit came out the first year I went to Wonderfest, and it was a show special for that year. Uh, full disclaimer, I did not buy this kit at that show, but I bought it directly from uh, the sculptor Sean Nagel at another model kit show in Chicago. I, and I can't remember which year that was. This kit was released previously, I believe in 1995, but it was re-released in 98 as a show special, as I just mentioned, and uh, this casting is in bright green resin, which almost makes it, uh, which almost makes me hesitant to paint it. Um, I guess I've done a good job so far. So let's take a look at the, uh, the box here, as you can see, I looks like I picked this up for $75, which... I'm not sure what this kit is going for these days, but that's that's probably a, a good price, so don't get mad at me for that. Um, here's some some details on the box here. And it looks like I am I got copy twelve out of uh thirty in existence, I suppose. So that's pretty cool. It's it's always cool to have something rare like this, so let's crack open this box. I haven't looked at this kit for a long time. Looks like I could have done a better job before I uh, packed this away in the closet. I should have some uh, packing material or something to keep these parts from rattling around, but of course you know, I was, a lot of times when I would get a new kit, I would get rid of the, the packing material and, you know, so you can look at the kit and sometimes all that's really hard to even get back in the box and this was meant to just sit on a shelf anyway. I even had it uh, labeled so I could tell. You know, you got a box, uh, you got a shelf full of cardboard boxes, you don't know what's in what, so I just um, wrote the name of the kit on the side. But, as I mentioned, I'm trying to get rid of all my cardboard boxes because they take up space and um, absorb moisture. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's get the parts out. As you can see, that is the that lime green resin. It's very distinct and it's just, yeah, it's Makes it a little unique. I suppose I'll be lucky if and it looks like they are all my fingernails and toenails are and teeth are intact. But let's take a look at the parts here. So you can see it's pretty pretty hefty. Uh, it's a good sized base, but it's not it's not overpowering. You know, this will sit on a, on a shelf nice.
they're kind of, you know, for an old kit, um, the arms are kind of keyed here. Yeah, I'm impressed for an, for an old kit. That's to make sure that you get things lined up, because the hands are pulling at the mouth of the croc, so it's important to get that uh, position correctly. A lot of old kits, I mean, shoot, this would be flat, and this would probably be flat, and they'd tell you to deal with it. So, thank you, Sean, for parting this kit out nicely, even all those years ago. There's a couple indentations here for the legs to go on. Like I said, for, for 98, or sooner, for 95, that's very cool. And this is just his uh, tail. Well this part attaches uh, here and that's just his, the end of his tail. I'm sure anybody watching this video probably, you know, you, you know what this kit looks like and the picture was on the box. But I, I thought I would try to stick it together here. Here I was bragging about the um, the parts being keyed so you had them in the right position. When I was showing it to you earlier, I had it in the wrong position. It's, it goes like that, I think. Do I know what I'm doing? Is that anything new? No. I think there's some some cleanup that needs to be done to get the legs to plug in a little bit deeper. So, unfortunately for this video, I'm not going to be able to probably tack it together so that you can see it all. These do have just kind of like a, a ball shape there, and then this is you know, concave. I think that's to give you a little wiggle room when putting it all together. So yeah, um, like I said, unfortunately I won't be able to uh, tack this all together. Maybe if I did some some planning and, and uh, uh, you know, put some pins in there or some of this poster putty. But the point of these videos is just to take a quick look at some of these old kits and um, yeah, so these may not be the most professional planned or thought out videos but um, hopefully they'll be entertaining. Maybe you've never seen this kit before, or maybe it reminds you that you have this in your in your closet somewhere. Yeah, well. We'll leave it at that. Let's take a look at, um, I'll give you a close-up of some of the parts. But he's really cool. This is, I would call this somewhere in between, I mean he's obviously the, the movie look, but, you know, he's got that real, um, kind of beefy, I don't know how to describe it, almost like a swamp thing. A little bit more muscular, you know, than the one in the movie, which I think is cool and just, just gives it that, that pulpy, you know, monster versus monster feel. Pretty nicely cast too, if you, uh, if you look you can see there's some pinholes on on some of the scales, but that's going to be kind of unavoidable. 
and the seam line runs along where there's a, a seam in the suit. So that was very, very smart. Again, for an, an old kit, this is this is nicely put together and, and thought out. Hands was really cool. Even the, uh, it's just lots and lots of textures. This is a uh, type of kit that painters definitely like. So, does this kit go back in the closet? Uh, am I going to pin it together so it can go on the shelf? Or is it going in the cell pile? Um, although I'd love to at least build this and stick it on the shelf like I mentioned earlier. Because uh, I'd love to at least get to look at it. So it can taunt me until I uh, finally give in and, and make some time to paint it. Um, I don't have a lot of spare time right now, so this one's going back in the closet. And even though I'm trying to get rid of all these cardboard boxes, um, for now, I'm keeping this box. Since it has the artwork and the, uh, the show special details, just that information about the kit, so... You know, in case I ever do decide to sell it, or if someone in my family inherits it and wants to, needs to sell it. Creature vs. Croc is a classic from the early days of Garage Kits, and it is one of my favorite pieces that I own. And in a lagoon full of Creature Kits, this one for sure stands out. Do you have one of these in your collection, or have you always wanted one? Um, have any more details to add, or did I get anything wrong? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help me keep making more, and it also lets me know that I should be making more. If you didn't like this, hit the thumbs down, and then I'll know nobody cares about these old kits. But in the meantime, uh, I'll see you in the next video, and stay tuned for more kits from the closet.